the Catherine Palace, Екатерининский дворец, was the summer residence of the Russian empresses Екатерина I, Елизавета Петровна и Екатерина II, in Tsarское село, which is now called Pushkin. At the end of this video, you will learn how to get to Pushkin from St. Petersburg. The Catherine Palace, Екатерининский дворец. The Catherine Palace is the center of the complex of the palace and park on this historic site. The splendor of the Catherine Palace Museum displays the work of architect from the 18th and the 19th centuries. The Catherine Palace is breathtaking. Can you imagine that more than 100 kilograms of gold were used to adorn the sophisticated facade and numerous statues on the roof? The Great Hall – Большой Зал The palace is best known for Astrali's grand suit of formal rooms known as the Golden Enfilade. The Great Hall, also known as the Hall of Light, covers 860 square meters and occupies the full width of the palace, so there are superb views on either side. The entire ceiling is covered by a monumental fresco entitled The Triumph of Russia. The Grand Hall hosted ceremonial events such as dances, formal dinners and masquerade balls. More than a thousand candles were used for lighting. During World War II, the territory of Tsarskoye Selo was occupied and the palace was almost completely destroyed. Eighty percent of its interiors were lost. Prior to World War II, Soviet archivists managed to document a fair amount of the interior, which proved of great importance in reconstructing the palace. Of the 58 halls destroyed during the war years, 32 have been recreated. The jewel of the palace is the Amber Room. Янтарная комната, rightly called a wonder of the world. To create this extraordinary chamber, Rastrelli used panels of amber mosaic and surrounded them with gilded carving and mirrors. The room was completed in 1770. However, the original amber room was dismantled and eventually disappeared during the World War II. In 1979, the Soviet government decided to construct a replica of the Amber Room, which took 24 years and required 40 Russian and German experts in Amber craftsmanship. Using original drawings and old black and white photographs, every attempt was made to duplicate the original Amber Room, which you can see now during the guided tour. The palace and park ensemble of Tsarskoye Selo is recognized as one of the best monuments in the world to the art of landscape gardening in the 18th and 20th centuries. Within its grounds are about 100 different sculptures and pavilions, monuments and bridges. The marble bridge was designed by Vasily Niyolov and recognized as one of the best works of this architect. Blocks for the manufacture of the bridge were carved in 1770 under the direction of Italian master Valentino Tortori. In 1811, Alexander I opened a lyceum next door to the Catherine Palace. Among the first students of the lyceum was the famous Russian poet and writer Alexander Pushkin. In the summer of 1831, Pushkin rented a cottage in Tsarskoye Selo where he wrote the letter to Tatiana from Onegin, completing the novel in poems Yevgeny Onegin. In 1937, Tsarskoye Selo was renamed to the town of Pushkin, 
thus commemorating the centenary of the poet's death. These are the reasons why you should definitely take a one-day trip to Pushkin. I come here a few times a year. The palace and park are worth a visit in any season. Getting here from St. Petersburg is easy. Get a train from Vitebsky railway terminal, Vitebsky vokzal to Tsarskoye Selo Pushkin railway station. You can also get here by bus from Moskovskaya metro station. Metro Moskovskaya. If you want to learn more about St. Petersburg, Russian culture and the Russian language, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram.